In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the throttle body on this Volkswagen Beetle. It's located towards the back near the firewall on the engine. Let's get into it. Now pop this battery cover up. There should be a clip right there. Just squeeze that. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, we're going to disconnect the negative side. Loosen up the nut. And that's loose. Grab the terminal and slide it to the side out of the way. Now we'll disconnect the connector here. Just pull in on the tab and disconnect the hose here. Push down on the two tabs. It slides off. And using hose clamp pliers, squeeze that and slide the snorkel off just like that. There's a couple screws right here and there. I'm going to take those off. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, take that off. You can take the cover off just like that. We're going to take this tube off right here. I'm just going to use some hose clamp pliers with this hose clamp. Slide that off. Up here, there's a connector. Disconnect the connector right there and slide that to the side. There's another hose clamp up here. And move this hose clamp just using some hose clamp pliers. And it slides right off. Just leave that on there. And just set that aside. We're going to take this hose. You can use some needle nose pliers. If you can get a hose clamp pliers in there, you can use those. This is a little bit easier with needle nose. So. And just slide that down. I can wiggle the hose, try to get that off. Just using some hose pliers. Twist that back and forth. That comes off. There's not going to be any coolant in there. That's just air. These two lines back here are coolant lines. We're going to take the throttle body off and then take those off afterward. It'll be a little bit easier. There is a connector down here. And just use a pick. And slide that connector off. Now we're going to use a triple square M8 socket. Take the bolts out for the throttle body. off. You can grab the gasket. Slide that off. Now I'm going to take some hose clamp pliers, move, move the hose clamps. You want to make sure the vehicle is not hot when you're doing this because there could be pressure in the cooling system. Using the hose pliers, just wiggle this back and forth and slide it off. And no coolant came out, but I'm going to try to keep the hose high. I can take the other hose off and do the same with the other hose. Just hose clamp pliers, take the hose clamp off and just wiggle the hose off. I just put a mat underneath here just to collect any coolant. And there's a little bit of coolant dripping. I'm just gonna wipe this down. If you need to, take a razor blade and just 
take any of the gasket material off, but this looks pretty good. Just a little brake parts cleaner and a rag. It's good. And we're gonna put the lower coolant line on first, line that up, and we can move that hose clamp over. Slide that in position. That's good right there. Upper hose. Slide that in place. And then move the hose clamp over. is twisted you want to twist it so it, it's not twisted take that pad out and we'll get this hose on up top slide that in place and move the clamp down Back side, I'm just going to slide the gasket in place. Take a couple of the bolts, get those started so those hold the gasket correctly. Right, it's a little easier to do them at an angle, opposite ends. The gasket's all in. Now get the other bolts. Now I'm going to torque these down to eight foot pounds. That's good. Now take the connector, line it up and lock it down. Now we're going to take the hose, use the hose clamp tool, line that up, line this hose up as well. This went around, so I'm going to make sure this hose goes around on the outside. Yep. Move this over as well. There is a little retainer right here. This wasn't there before, but that should go like that. Take the connector, line the connector up, lock it down, and the top part of the air box, line this up. Push it down. We have this clamp that's got to go on here. I'm going to have to spread this first, just with some channel lock pliers. I don't know. I know 
I'll just use some hose clamp pliers and put this back on. That's good. Now I'm going to use the Phillips head screwdriver and tighten down the screws for the top part of the air box. Snug those down. There should be another one right here. Snug that down. Plug this hose in, lock it down. And the wire for the mass airflow sensor. Pull that up, line that up, lock it down. And take the negative, get that started. And we'll tighten that down. And snug, give it a wiggle, make sure it's tight, and close the lid. With a scan tool, you're going to need to do a throttle relearn, which we're going to the throttle body adaption, the electronic throttle body. Key must be in the on position, no fault codes. Continue. Press start to begin. Oh, it's testing the throttle body right now. All right, so that shows the results okay, so we can exit out. And we're good to go. Shut the key off, disconnect the tool. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.